Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Irene Tessico and I help young professionals to study, live and work in Canada. So if you're one of it, stay tuned because for today we will be discussing why most international students choose Ontario. Let's go! If you have been researching about how to study in Canada, most of the students you have seen will probably considering studying in Ontario. Did you know that 40% of international students who come to Canada are going to Ontario and the remaining 60% are spread into different provinces of Canada? If you're not aware as well, the capital of Canada is in Ontario, which is the Ottawa. Meaning, in Ontario itself, there will be a lot of things to do. That's why I'm gonna be telling you here what are some reasons on why the students choose Ontario as their province of study. Aside from that, I'm gonna be telling you some schools in Ontario, what schools waive IELTS, schools that have a pre-application fee, and schools that most international students choose, so you have an option to do. All right, let's get started. The top reason on why most international students choose Ontario is because of the job opportunities. Now, I would say there is really a high competition when it comes to job opportunities in Ontario because a lot of people go here. It's not just students. There's also local people. There's also permanent residents and citizens. However, with regards to job opportunities, you will find a better or high paying salary in Ontario since this is a big province which has different institutions, different businesses, that is basically their main branch. I know some students have as well have a high paying salary even though they're just part time. So why not? One good reason as well, even I would consider is the weather. I have lived in a province or in a city wherein the temperature goes up to minus 50 and that's just insane. But in Ontario, since it's near to the lake and as well as near to US border, the temperature there is much milder, which would somehow be around minus 7 or if you're really near, near the lake, probably minus 1 and there's no much snow. So, I mean, if you wanted to live in a peaceful life with not much harsh winter wherein you need to always clean your car or have a properly geared winter clothes, then probably consider going to Ontario. But take note that even in Ontario, temperatures also changes depending on the place that you're going to. So make sure you'll do a good research on that. Like I have said earlier, this Ontario is probably one of the nearest to the U.S. borders aside from the Quebec. What's good about this is that if you like traveling or if you have a U.S. visa, then you can go to U.S. and probably have fun during your weekends or maybe just visit your family. You can do this if you do know how to drive or probably you can just have a flight, but I mean, it's cheaper rather than if you're coming from a different province in Canada. Another thing to like in Ontario is the diversity. This is really important if you are an immigrant because of course, you wanted to settle in a place wherein you feel like you are home, you feel welcome, and probably you have the things that you like or that you may miss from your country. So in Ontario, since there's a large number of immigrants that goes into, they do have different things to or different options for you like your restaurants, the type of food, the groceries to make you feel home. Now, these are some good reasons on why most people, most immigrant, most international students choose Ontario as their province even though people always say that Ontario is an expensive province to live in. However, in my opinion, it will still be based on how you budget, on what province or what city you're going into, and probably just your lifestyle because I mean if you even if you live in a small city but you spend too much on shopping or eating outside then your cost of living would still be high and the best part for international students in Ontario most schools do provide the letter of acceptance so quickly that I have experience with my one student she got her letter of acceptance in just three days after submitting the application 
so i mean that's insane that's really fast and if you really do not have enough time for you to submit your study permit application probably consider going into ontario and do take note that we do help aspiring international students to get their letter of acceptance for free i mean free for the assistance but you will be the one to pay for your application fee although we do have schools wherein we are partnered with the application fees but it's not for everything so if you wanted to know or if you wanted to apply to get your letter of acceptance please do email us info at unistudyca.com and we will be glad to help and assist you in ontario there are about 116 schools for international students now don't get me wrong this 116 already include the different campuses of some other schools because some schools or colleges does have eight campuses or five campuses so that number already includes those with all these schools there are about 19 schools that waives ielts wave ielts mean you don't need to take an ielts you don't need to take a duolingo or any english test for you to pass the admission. However, that does not guarantee that you will get a seat. There are still some relevance or some, some considerations for the school to decide if you will be applicable for the program that you have chosen to. That's why it's really important if you are applying for a course or a program in Canada, make sure that you know that you are applying at the right program. If you're not sure, we can also help you with that. I am an education consultant myself. I have taken courses for that and I have gained it through my experience working in the international department. Take note again, these schools that waive IELTS, we are partnered with them and you can apply through us. So you will have a lesser stress and probably give you a free time to do other things. There are some schools that you can consider, but again, these are just some where most students goes into. If you know the schools that you wanted to go in Ontario and it's not on the list, we are probably also a partner with them. So make sure to give us an email through info at unistudyca.com so we can help you. The schools are Humber College, George Brown, Fanshawe, Centennial, Lambton, Conestoga, Moha College, St. Clair, and Fleming College. In Fleming College, you usually need to pay an application fee, but if you apply through uni study, then we can waive it for you. Make sure to email us and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye!